factorizing with algebraic fractions. There's a lot in common with factorizing and cancelling fractions because we're dealing with factors the whole time. So part of simplifying fractions can require us to factorize first. And so we better just make sure that we remember how to factorize. Factorizing means put brackets back in by removing a common factor. So it's the opposite of expanding. So you find the highest common factor, including any letters, and it goes out the front of the brackets and then remaining factors in the brackets. So we'll do a couple of examples just to remind ourselves. So I've been asked to factorize these. I have to look for the highest number that goes into both 4 and 8. Always look at the smallest one. Does 4 go evenly into 8? Yes, it does. So it's 4. X, but there's no X here. So my HCF here is 4. You can write it down if that helps you. So then, 4 out the front of the brackets. And you need to ask yourself, 4 times what gives me 4X? Well, that would be X. 4 times what gives me positive 8? Well, that would be 2, and it would be positive 2, so we write plus 2. You've factorized. And a quick little mental check. 4 times x is 4x. 4 times 2 is 8. Everything's good. I meant to put an x in this question. That was silly of me, so I've just put it in now. <laughs> Sorry about that. Check for the highest common factor of the numbers. Does 3 go into 12? Yes, it does. So the HCF will be 3, but there's also an x in both of them. Now there's x times x here, but there's only x here, so I can have just one lot of x there. Pop 3x out the front. 3x times what gives me 3x squared? Well, that would be x, because 3x times x is 3x squared. 3x times what gives me negative 12x? would have to be times a negative. 3 times 4 is 12, and I've already got the x in there. 3x times negative 4 is negative 12x. I've factorized it. Now, when I factorize, this is a factor, but this whole thing in brackets is also a factor, because it's this times this. Anything's multiplied together are factors. So x minus 4 is a factor here x plus 2 is a factor here. And that's relevant in cancelling common factors in fractions because a whole bracket can be a common factor. So a reminder that when we simplify by, by cancelling, any just whole numbers on their own, we simplify using our calculator. So I'll need to check 8 over 12. So the numbers there will come down to 2 over 3. x on the top and x squared on the bottom. So I can get rid of one of those x's. This is x times x. So that'll just cancel. With that x, I'll be left with an x on the bottom. And y, there's nothing to cancel with. So I've got 2y over 3x. And we've been cancelling these recently and doing very well. But here, I've got x plus 2 in brackets times by something else. That whole x plus 2 is a factor. The whole thing can just be cancelled out. It doesn't work if it's added to something, but every time everything's multiplied together, I can just cancel things out when they're the same on top and bottom. And 3 over 6 then, if we need to, we use the calculator. 3 over 6 simplifies to 1 half, 
that comes down to one half and it's all easy. And then our slightly harder skill, factorize it first, then simplify. Now when things are added together on the top and bottom, I can't just go, oh look, I can cancel the x's. Because factorizing is about multiplying. Simplifying only works by cancelling when everything's multiplied together. But if I factorize first, things get a lot easier. Factorizing the top here, 4 outside of x plus 8. Hey, we did that before. It's 4x plus 2, 4 outside of x plus 2 over x plus 2. And there's a little cheat thing that we can discover. Everything on the top of the brackets and everything on the bottom can have, sorry, top of the fraction, and everything on the bottom of the fraction can have invisible brackets. So this has invisible brackets, and I can cancel that bracket and that bracket, and I'm left with just 4. So a lot of skills there, but the only thing that's new to us is knowing that I can cancel brackets on the top and bottom of a fraction. Everything else is revision.